Okay, we're looking at what I call nostalgia, and we start with the song, I'm born again, a brand new man, not by my power, by the power of God. <laughs> when you made that commitment, you don't want to go back to your vomit. And of course, a good example that we have, which is also very interesting, but also humorous and tragic, is what you actually find in Numbers chapter 14, it's Numbers 11 verse 4. Now the mixed multitude were among them yielded to intense craving. So the children of Israel also wept again and said, who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish which we ate freely in Egypt, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions and the garlic. But now our whole bean is dried up. There's nothing at all except this manna before our eyes. Just to give a bit of context, these guys were you know, enslaved in Egypt. You know, they were suffering tremendously. You know, and uh, they cried out, and God sent, you know, a savior. You know, and they were able to actually exit Egypt. And now, they decided to, you know, have a lot of homesickness, if you wish, or wishful thinking that we, we wish we were back in Egypt because of, you know, uh, the kinds of food that were available. Now we are eating only manna, and they decided to complain which is very problematic because sometimes people don't even remember where they're coming from. You know, uh, so if you made a commitment to the Lord and you start to look back on your you know, past life and you think you're enjoying, uh, you have, you're having the same kind of behavior, which is horrible, which we shows that we're not grateful. So we need to be uh, very positive. We look at the glass as half full, not glass, not as not half empty. Uh, Philippians 3 verse 19, whose end is destruction, whose God is your belly, and whose glory is their shame, who mind everything. So when you start to, you know, uh, crave for your past life, you know, thinking that, you know, it was, you know, bright and shiny, and that, you know, your present life as a believer is, you know, dull. <laughs> In fact, you're not looking at the entire picture of what God saved you from. Maybe by now you would even be dead and buried because of the life of sin that you were living. You know, so, uh, you know, because when people go through challenges, they begin to look back at their past life and begin to wonder, when I was still in the world, I didn't have all these issues and all these problems. But you need to have a positive attitude. The reason why you're having all those challenges is because God is training you for something big. And you need to have that positive attitude and continue the faith. Those that to wish for your past life, you know, that does that didn't get you anywhere. You know, move forward uh, in faith and fulfill your ministry.